Hey guys, Hooked of Blueprint here. Blueprint's bringing a new service to a tweaking bases service. So rather than getting a fresh base, you're gonna get a base that is slightly tweaked. Now this doesn't sound very good, but a lot of the top pro teams at the moment are using tweaked bases to great success. So today, We've got End on Voice with me. He's going to be one of the people in charge of this new service. And uh, you're going to see him tweak a few bases of his own, plus talk about the actual service. And maybe it'll get you interested because uh, this service is going to be much more affordable. Hello, End. Good to have you on the call. Hello. Hello, guys. So basically, what about tweak bases? Tweak bases is just like an edit version of a, like a base which is a ready bolt, for example. It's good, for example, for Legends League, for people like don't want to spend too much, they can like just invest, uh, I don't know, uh, if they, if you want to like change the base more often, then tweak bases is perfect. Also, if you have like, uh, for like, for example, like pro teams, they have like a lot of matches during the week and uh, many of them, they are not uh, able to change bases uh, fresh bases every day, so they just use like tweak bases, which is the best option for this. So, how much work do you put into tweaking a base, essentially? Uh, depends on the base. Some bases require only traps fix because the bases, uh, you know, you you pick is already good. But some bases, for example, there's some mistakes on walls, some mistakes on fresh buildings, and there's some traps to to fix. So depends on the time, but I think usually five to 10 minutes for, for tweak. If, if a base like is really, really, really weak, maybe even 20 minutes. But usually when we choose like a base to tweak, we, we already choose like a base, which is already hard or is, is already almost perfect. So just need to fix some traps and it's good. Uh, and how long does it take you to make a fresh base? Just so viewers understand the difference. Okay, fresh bases have like a different process. Maybe fresh bases, you know, the is similar timing, but the problem is you have also to test, you have also to modify, you know, is that cost you the time? Maybe, uh, you know, depends half hour more. The difference of uh, tweak bases on or new bases is for competitive. I'm speaking for competitive because on all bases, you already know basically how people hit it. Because there's video, there's a replay. You can check just the replay or the video. You already know how the people hit it, and you can uh, fix it like according to the to the attack. New bases, you will never know how people will attack it. You you have to you know how to say you right. Well, you, well, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, when you're tweaking a base, you know what they want to hit the base with. You know what they're going to try and it's much easier to trap. Whereas you got a new base, you have no idea how people are going to hit it. There's so many different strategies in the game. So yeah, there is benefits to running tweak bases. If you want end, we could start right now. You could get a base open that you want to tweak and just talk to us the sort of tweaks you make on bases. Yeah, okay. Let's start. For example, I pick uh, this base because I think it's also good uh, for war and for legends, so both can use. Okay, first thing I usually do is I remove every traps. But you remember where the traps are, yeah? So that you're not necessarily going to put them in the same spot? Yeah, I usually change all the traps because, uh, you know, I always also look at the replay, how people hit it. According to that, I will put my traps yeah. Or according to the uh, to the opponent, sometimes you know, maybe you you know already one week before who you are matching, and uh, and you you kind of know like how to how to trap it. Oh, you missed one red bomb on the right there. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I usually like to do is uh, I remove all the trash building, like all the all the things around. Ah. Is that so, like, if people are, like, funneling their king into the base or something, he piles a little differently? Yeah, I usually, you know, because, uh, you know, many people maybe like to do, like, uh, search on YouTube, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, copy the attack, you know, and they doesn't, sometimes they doesn't figure out, if, you know, the trash building is changed. It's not about only this, but uh, I kind of, like, want to make it a mm, little bit more tricky, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. This base is maybe 
uh, maybe this zap value, you know, multi and uh, a monolith. Maybe they don't do, but if they do, like is uh, like a very good value. So first thing, uh, what I look for is always try to, uh, how to say, delete the extra walls. This is the, the first step I do. For example, maybe these walls is free. I just deleted it. Yep. Maybe let me check. Also this one. Also this one. Also this one. Maybe I'm, I'm not fan of this. I can make this smaller. I always uh, so rather than five four. Ah. Always try to how to say to to say walls, you know to to how to say to make it better and try to to benefit from other part of the base. I try to save walls for uh, for other part of the base. You try and maximize your walls, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We said this part was was kind of the weak part, so this is why I try to save walls to to make this part maybe a little bit more heavy. Okay. One thing I very like is uh, is uh, spread out my HP. For example, now it's Town Hall 15. Many people, when you run to Legends League, they play World and Walk and stuff like that. Time is uh, like, how to say, like an important factor for it. So yeah. it's important now to spread out uh, well the, the HP. Here, I think maybe... You know, Warden Walk is a little bit too fast. So, first thing I do here is maybe I'll choose storage from which I save it from the from the trash building. Nice. Okay, so, yeah. so I just try to slow down the the Warden Walk. As you can tell, guys, look at the amount of edits. Like, this is not as simple an edit as, like, you know just moving like a couple of seeking air mines around like when you buy bases from this from this tweaked base building service that blueprint's providing you're gonna see some genuine differences to the base um from the original because uh this already looks substantially different i like it yeah basically is this the first uh first uh, tweak okay i'm gonna to remove also this also here maybe we can add some eight more hp Yeah, this this type of bases I, I always like, you know, is also good for who want to to push high and they want to change bases more often. You know, is uh is like very fast approach, and they, you can almost have like a new base every one or two days. Yeah, and all the yeah. top all the top legends pushes in the world tweak bases. Like some, there are very few people that will build fresh, but most people just get the common bases and make a few, but uh, significant changes to the base that are just make it so much harder to triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. You know, because you are, you are pushing legendsly, you're going to be hit every day by eight people differently. And you know, is uh, you can't, you can't, how to say, to afford to change bases every day, you you don't have the time to build like a new basis every day. You basically basically do like me: take a base and uh, and modify it. I don't want to see C lure early, so I put it also the CC two tiling down. Ooh. Okay. Possible uh, Tesla farm inside the base here between the two scatter. And that's much different to where the Tesla farm was before as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The king was here. I think like still uh, like a good spot. Here I'm gonna to make a little bit more space. Okay, cannon, cannon. Before here. I remember there was like 
storage. I usually don't like storage uh, in the deep because maybe it could give like a connection for for e dragons. Maybe you guys also can put like a spell factory because the HP is less to you know because the spell factory when the chain is going we die and maybe they don't take the scatter sometimes. Same thing with like super bowlers, right? And even uh, blizzards, right? Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. Because it disappear early, so maybe they don't have the connection from from of course from outside. If they land here, is is yeah. Of course, here I leave like a lot of space for possible baits and and stuff like that. Okay, I put the trash bully now. You're placing yes. a lot of the trash buildings before your final walls then, yeah? Uh, yes, because, you know, once I have, like, the bases uh, almost uh, ready, I, I can see, like, uh, I zoom out just so I have, like, a better vision to, to see, like, where where is weak. So I can, I can see it after with the necessary walls. Okay, usually when I'm down the base, I just zoom out and try to look like, okay, where is missing, stuff like that, like possible plans and, and stuff like that. Okay, one thing maybe I don't like, maybe the base is a little bit too open, so maybe I can close some compartment. One thing we said is maybe this value. I wanted to change. Yeah. I can put something like this. I basically swap. Okay. And Would I you put... move the mortars then? Because obviously the monolith outranges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have the, the, the monolith here now, so yeah. I can like look for possible other space of of uh, flame flinger, of course. Let me look where I can put. Of course, here we have like enough HP now. What we can do is hero is okay here. We can move the mortar somewhere else. A mortar, let me look. Like we can plan after it. Maybe I can put a little bit here. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking that or like the wizard tower. Uh, next yeah, to yeah. It. So basically, when I have like almost everything ready, I just put the rest. The boulder hut first. Okay, the boulder hut, I can put it here. Sorry, I missed that. What did you say? I mean, I usually also remove the Buddha hat to, yeah. you know, to to give out give uh, other part of the base, maybe some more HP. Okay, mm -hmm. put it here. Okay. Well, once I have like everything ready, I try to you know to 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 place the traps and stuff like that. Okay. Of so course, what trap it... do you start with? Sorry. Uh, depends. Usually, I start from from Tesla because Tesla, I think, you know, Tesla baits and stuff like that. Maybe is is the most important uh, stuff. So I usually start from there. You know, I never try to base something. I when I like place the traps, I usually you know put a generic traps. I don't put like for base something, or I always put a generic for for important matches or, or stuff like that. I just put there because you know. I think like it's... it gives consistency to the base. 
Yeah, I agree. That looks like the best Tesla farm spot on the bay. And like I know a lot of you watching this video might go, well, he's just put the Tesla farm in the exact same spot. That's not really tweaking the base. But the, the Tesla farm kind of operates differently here because there's a, mo uh, there's sorry, the monolith there versus the eagle. So, you know, the Tesla farm's protecting something completely different. Um, yeah, obvi yeah. Obviously, you don't want to give up your monolith for th free. It's one of your most important defenses. So I think it makes a lot of sense on this base. And just because you see a Tesla farm in the same spot doesn't mean the base isn't tweaked. Like, I don't think you could hit this base the same as what you saw before. No, no, of course. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, things are changing and, uh, you know, just like a eagle and uh, a monolith is like already big changes. Agreed. Of course, we're going to to put red where I see like, you know, uh, not only in one place. I usually like to put it like little bit spreaded, one here, one there, you know, to give, uh, how to say, to, to make uh, Lalo more annoying because uh, Queen Charge Lalo and Blizzard Lalo sometimes are very different in Lalo. And yeah. you can't like leave like a part of base without traps. And I always like, I mean, for war to, to put like spread. But for example, for Legends League, maybe it's more, uh, how to say, you, you know already how people hit it. You can go more heavy. You know, you can bait blimps. You can bait queen charges. You know, you can go like very, very, very more heavy. Yeah. The traps you see for Legends and War are just going to be completely different. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But red, completely different. But red bombs are really quite strong at the moment. So you can't, you don't, like at Town Hall 14, you kind of needed to put like five red bombs in some one spot. Town Hall 15, you don't have to do that. You can get yeah. away with just a couple. Yeah, sometimes Town Hall 15, you know, you just need Poison Tower and then after match, like one red or or maximum two red, you are already done. Plus with Tower, stuff like that, you know. You are you are need to splash damage and you just need like one red between. And and uh, you are already like losing half, half HP of the loons. Then just Archer Tower, Tesla or single target defense will just like, you know, finish the job for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what Another. about our final traps here? Mm -hmm. I cool. usually like to put like Tesla farm a little bit more more heavy. Yeah. Yeah, same. Okay. <laughs> okay. What I can put here, let me check here, is already bomb tower. When I choose it, it was already good against like, you know, super archer, stuff like that. Here maybe. Also, could be like a possible super archer blimp from here, from the CC. It takes open here on the CC platform. Sorry, you might cut out. <laughs> Essentially what he's saying though, guys, it's like, look, the right side is just not that good to come in with a blizzard or a super archer with the bomb towers. Poison towers are a bit more leaning towards that side as well. So, you know, blimp's more likely to come from the other side. So we've got the NATO in a spot where it's impossible to trigger that with a lava hound, with balloons, with anything. And then uh, of double course it's, uh, yeah, yeah, of course it's, uh, it's not easy because here I have like a lot of defense. But I I gonna to to make it like a little bit more more hard. For example, if I move here, you know, the loon up the least cannon we go here and we go here. Same for yeah. this side. I like. Of course, you know you can also you can also try after the the blimp and and to see if it works. We can also put inside the base plus the giant bomb. And uh, also there is uh, like a good combination. Another thing I like is put put giant bomb in the core against you know super bowler stuff like that. I don't put like drops like very surgically. I just put overall like where I think is good. Yeah. Of course, after testing stuff like that, you can also swap it and and find like better spots. Okay. 
So these traps here to stop the start of the hybrid if you're queen charging at the eagle. I like that. Yeah. I moved the Buddha hat for one reason because I, how to say, I deleted a spot for giant bomb. So maybe can make it like a little bit more common, I would say. Or more safe to, to, to land here. Yeah. So essentially, yeah, you're, you're making it look more safe, but in reality, there's four Sams and a tornado trap. Yeah, yeah of course. When you test it, uh, you can also try to see like which you don't need, which you need. You know, I just like put it like uh, here. Usually I, uh, for tweak bases, when it's ready, I try like some blimps, just like uh, five minutes things and, and to see like if the needle is working, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure like almost about all the other traps. Another thing I like is is look for super goblin values. We can like put like a small bomb to mess up like some 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 path, some funnel and stuff like that. So you're just looking for the most valuable uh, resource exterior buildings at this point that someone's going to take with the sneaky gob to put yeah, the yeah, yeah. bomb in front of. Just so it can, because people will often count the number of sneaky gobs in their army, and if you just kill one, it can throw it all out. Yeah, because Legends League, are, Legends League, you know, some people just have like two to three. They don't don't think it's not worth. You you have like only three, and sometimes it can be like really mess up. But here, I think uh, you know, there's there's no really needed part in this base, so I think it's fine. I can use. So you just put in the like back before. in the core, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or back I inside the base. Can we get a yeah? I look photo mode beautiful and that right there ladies and gentlemen and you can tell that the sun's setting because my face is a lot darker than the start of this video that there is a tweaked base and that oh we even changed the rotation i like that that there yeah. is what you're gonna get with this service um look the base is obviously going to be similar to bases but you cannot attack this base the same as you attacked the base you saw at the start of this editing. It's it's completely different. Even the most minor changes can make the most profound of differences. So thank you, and for doing this base today. Is there anything you wanted to say before we sign off? Yeah, one thing I forgot to say, like always rotate, you know, to, you know, to how to say make it. Uh, it just looks different. Yeah, it looks different, but you know, even if it's similar, is it's it's not mean like it's a bad thing. Sometimes when you look like a base is similar, is is like a good thing because you already know how people hitting. You you know like it's a as an advantage how to say you know, is is a good thing because yeah. you already know how to to the legends league. This is why the reason of legends league people they are they are using maybe some very old bases from one year ago and still defending the reason why is they are taking bases people already know how to hit it you know already the entry will come from here they just bait it they just go all in traps and in this case you get like amazing defense this is the reason why you know stars or or others people pushing so high ain't that the truth and uh well, yeah, you would know about how well Stars does, obviously, Builder for Queen Walkers. But that's it for us. I really get, hope you guys who watched the video enjoyed it and got to kind of understand the process that will be behind the service. Um, all the details for it, I will try and put in the description down below. If not, uh, go to the Blueprint Discord server and you can keep up with it all there. Or go on the website and wait for this service to go live. But thank you very much, and I really appreciated your, uh, your insight today. Yeah, thank you. It was like a, a pressure. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. That's it from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll see you soon.